Hello, good morning. 10 past 4 in the morning. rabbits down here but I haven't seen rabbits here for ages. Back the bears have had them. So today we're leaving Newbury. Turn right then at the end of the road turn left. Well we'll be doing that but we're leaving Cheveley services at Newbury. Turn left then go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. going then flash your lights or something what am I telepathic no but first thing in the morning ah oh, there's the rabbits go right the rabbits. on the roundabout and take the third exit well if he stops there he'll be fine Deal though, does it really? <coughs> Take the exit A34, then keep right. I've been to this place so many times that uh, keep right. Oh, and the truck could find its own way. So just getting up to cruising speed now. So today it's a bit of a. Swappy trailer day. So we're going to Milton Keynes, we've got to be there for six, it's quarter past four in the morning, so yeah, we'll make that alright. And then um, then we are going, once I've tipped in there, going across, heading east, straight across. Um, 
the uh, Black Cat Roundabout, if you know it, on the A1. Heading south, uh, I think it's only about a junction or two. Um, and we've got another yard over there that we're sort of, well, we're renting a bit of a, a yard out of somewhere, of, 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 of someone else. And we don't just use it as a, as a trailer dump, a secure secure trailer dump. So people will come up from Felix Star Gateway, dump a trailer there, and all they do is shuttle runs. Up to there and back. And then I'll go in there, pick a trailer up, and go off and deliver it. Which, uh, which is a good uh, utilisation of, uh, of time. So it means I'm not then having to go stuck on the docks all the time. We should do that in Southampton. And then the trampers just stay out and the day man just run the boxes up. And that would stop us getting stuck on the docks for two, three hours at a time. Swap, and then over to Banbury, it's only a 20 footer, and I've got to be there for 2 o'clock, should be okay, yeah, and then um, back across to Sandy again at the moment, we'll see what happens with that, so it's Wednesday, and uh, I've got to be back Thursday night, so I'm uh, so Friday off, so I'm going to see the doctor again, Oh yeah, I've only got tonight out, which I suspect will be oh, somewhere between Banbury and then um, Yeah, somewhere around there. Anyway, I'll speak to you there because you can't see Buggle. Cheers. Hello, 808. two hours it's the sort of place you can go in you can either be 20 minutes or two hours easy tiger Going over too. <laughs> I've just looked at the job sheet. Oh my word. Bye. It's minus five. We're going over to uh, do a trailer swap now. After 600 feet, turn left at 1146 Legend Way. I can get out of here. It's that time of day when it's uh, Milton Keynes gets a little busy. I need to go 
turn this roundabout. After 900 feet, go around the roundabout and take the fourth yeah. exit yeah. of 1146 Bletchen Way. Go around the roundabout and take the fourth exit. This is where they don't give me any space now. Windscreen's filthy, but I'm frozen up. Signals, yep, yeah, no, sometimes. Mentality. This is a big truck. Give me some room. Give me some room or hold back. Don't pull up alongside me. Okay, so. Should be where I'm going by about nine. <clears throat> so it looks like we've got two trailer swaps today. And another tip. I'll have earned me money today in these temperatures. throw snowballs at the trucks. That's what we used to do as kids. What's the matter with them? After 900 feet, cross the roundabout and take the second exit of 1146 Tombwell Street. Cold. After 900 feet, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, A421, Standing Way. Do it from this lane, I think. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Let's hope.
still in my shorts. I'm hoping I can get round in this lane. Pretty certain I can. But we will find out in a minute. Warming up, minus three. After a quarter of a mile, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A421. and we're going to collect the loaded box. Nice bit of sunshine. I 
see a spire. wintry up around these parts. I don't think we're in for a white Christmas so are we? I don't know. Stay green. No. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A421, towards Bedford. Some coffee. Hoping that uh, there is a uh, <coughs> spot for a trailer. Can I get there? It's not my luck, there'll be too many trailers in there. And I'll have to unhitch, pull one out, unhitch, hitch back up, push it in, unhitch, reconnect. And you know, I don't mind doing it, but it's just a ball over, you know. Sunshine looks lovely, doesn't it?
turn in to be a stunning day. Cold, but stunning. Been to these uh, this place before, but where I'm tipping, I don't think I've been. So that's a no bin. So once I've tipped back at Banbury, I'm going back to this same place, do another trailer swap. So I drop off the empty trailer, and I'm picking up another trailer and taking it back to Southampton. I don't know how much time we're going to have to do all of that. place I'm going to, to tip, I'll have a look see how big it is. This is the 421, A421 that we're going across now. Pretty good stretch of road. Amazon Hub. No idea where I'm going to end up tonight. Too early to say. It also depends on whether I've got a loaded box or not. I'll check when I get down to this place I'm going to. <coughs> that gives me a couple more options. Only doing a 13 today, so uh, so I'll be pulling the pin about half four today.
know something to eat when I get down here. Oh, yawning. I slept well last night as well. Minus three, we're getting warmer. I had a, I answered some questions about the uh, timing on timings on the docks the other day, uh, today actually, um, and how much time I give. But I allow roughly, I allow an hour a box. But at the moment, you, you've almost got to allow an hour a box plus a bit more um, of working time and at least an hour to an hour and a half of drive time so that gets you in round the docks and then back out to somewhere where you can park up so uh, you can tell as you come into the docks you can look and if what they call the pig pen which is the uh, um, pre-gate area is all stacked out and you've only got a couple of hours <laughs> forget it don't, don't even bother because you're just going to get stuffed unless you've got three four five hours or well, it's first thing in the morning you've got all day crack on going out and you just bide your time wait and wait and wait um, that's all you can do but there's no parking on the docks there's two spaces that you can park and only two bearing in mind there's 2,000 trucks a day going there roughly and there's only two, there's a lay-by room for two for two trucks. That's all there is. There is facilities when you get on, when you get through pre-gate, if they're not stacked out, and there's parking there for six trucks, that you can have, you've got enough time to go to the toilet, otherwise you get shifted on. So you might get away with a 15 minute, but the chances are you're gonna have somebody behind you beating the wall, because all they needed to do is go for a wee, and then they wanted to crack on, so it's not the place to be taking a break. You'll 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 give somebody the um. So all they got to do is go in. If you turn around and say, "Yeah, I'm taking a 15, mate," they go into the office and go. There's a bloke in the front taking having a 15. Any chance you can shift him? Yep, no problem at all. Poof, you're gone. It's not a place to be taking a break. So uh, take your break. If you need a break, take it before you go in and make sure you've got a. A, a clean card before you go in. So that's how I work it. Pentelvers, if it's queuing more than halfway, uh, 
go in early hours the next morning, park up, go in early hours. I'm not saying it's going to be any quicker, but at least you'll be at the front of the queue. Talking Southampton docks as well here, by the way. You can also go onto the uh, DP World website, um, DP World Southampton website, just Google it and find it. Um, and it'll tell you how many boxes are on, it'll tell you what the delays are like, tell me how many vehicles are, are queuing up, whether there's zero. Don't always believe it though. These things can change quite rapidly in there. simply if you don't think you've got enough time you haven't it's as simple as that worst case scenario as long as you can get make your way out of pre-gate anywhere else on the docks and they're like taking forever and ever and ever and you're running out of time you can pull the pin you just drive out as long as you're not you know, stuck in a queue somewhere, but you can drive out. And I was close to that a little while back. I had about, I was in there for, I don't know, three and a half hours, what it was, and I'd, I'd given myself, I knew the cut-off time to get me back to the yard, and I had ten minutes left. Then the shuttle turned up, which then gave me enough time to get out and get back to the yard. And I got back to the yard with about 10, 15 minutes to spare. But that's, you know, you've got, you've got to know good going over that cut off time because you're just going to pick up an infringement so uh, yeah work your timings out know what you're prepared to do and then after that pull out and uh, you will um, your company will uh, will forgo the VBS um, and it'll cost them but it's your card isn't it it's your license it's your ticket you're the one who's going to get fined by DVSA if you're going over time. So tough. My lot, yeah, if that's the case, just pull out. It's not, not the end of the world. Obviously, you leave it to the last, allow yourself just enough time to get back and parked up somewhere safe. But uh, yeah, do what do, do do what's right. Stay legal. Black Cat Roundabout, I'm going to be hanging on right here, so we're nearly there.
over nice and early because it looks like there's a load of uh, bit of an issue down here. So I'm just going to be stuck in traffic now, so uh, I shall bid you farewell and I'll uh, talk to you again once I'm done. So just to, uh, I'm just going in here to do a trailer swap. It's quarter to nine now, so let's see what time it is when I get back up the road. Speak to you later. Hello, time now 9.42. Uh, Bit of a palaver. Then, at the end of the road, turn left. Although it's a secure compound, they've uh, there's uh, locks on the uh, air hose, air Road, then take the third left. And of course, I didn't have the code because no one thought it a good idea to let me have the code. And then the, 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 the lock that they use says VOR, which is vehicle off-road. Now, that's fine. If you let everyone know that those locks aren't actually VOR'd, they're just old locks that have VOR fade, fainted paint, fa faded paintwork on them. So then I had to check to make sure the trailer wasn't VOR'd. Really right. No, it's then not, but... The roundabout and take the second exit paint over the VOR markings, because how am I supposed to know? Turn left, then cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Uh, yeah. We'll go back there again later. At least I'll know the code. Go around the roundabout and take the third exit, Sunderland Road. Third? No, what right. are you talking about? Sat never wants to take me through the housing estate, which is a really bad idea. Right, back to where I came, more or less, I think. Or I, I, might go, I might be going a bit further up the A1. I think I am. Well, I don't know how much you can see. After 900 feet, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. So this place, I'm due in at 11.20 now. <clears throat> go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. But it says I don't need to be there till 2 o'clock. I'm going to plead that ignorance and go, well, oh, they never gave me a time, Chief. Just come here. And then uh, if, they, if they load me, they load me, and if they don't, well, go right on the roundabout and I take won't. The second exit. I'll wait. But I won't know until I go in, will I? Good job, I've got my shorts on. Minus three. Turn left. Back onto the A1. I'm not seeing 
nothing until I get here and we're good to go. Follow the truck nav, truck, track, truck nav. No idea which way. Um, might be the same. Suspect it may well be. side of that house has fallen down. Sex shop open, there you go. Happy lovers on the A1. Just right for the Scania boys nip in there and sort themselves out. Do a good range in anal beads and uh, butt plugs. Just right for a V8 lad. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Mr. A.A. van. there in the middle of their well it was a nursery now but no you can't drive to it you've got to walk well done I don't even know how you get to it don't see any roads going to it
go left on the roundabout and take the second exit, A421, towards Milton Keynes. Signaled a little bit early there, I'm not going down into Roxton. There was a junction there, there we go. Follow A421 towards Milton Keynes for 17 miles. There you go, we've got 66 miles to go. Uh, 66 miles according to this one and 54 according to the other one. Okay. of a discrepancy so uh, <laughs> see what happens anyway I'll speak to you all later nothing much to see along here cheers bye hello time now 11.17 M1 northbound just about to come off I will be at junction 15A five mile away uh, heading towards Banbury I think it is that general area no dramas Dickhead third lane there in the Toyota. What is he all about? Because that's what happens. Loons. Move over. Third lane. I've had a bit of sunshine. I've had to take my hoodie off because so I've just got too hot. So I'm in short sleep t-shirt and shorts. It's warmed up to minus one. I'm getting a bit tropical. Going in at just after 12 o'clock and I'm um, going to chance me on, see what happens. Two options, is there? Yes or no? Simple as. If no, I'll wait. If yes, happy days. lay-by on the, uh, I don't know what road it was, 421 maybe, on the way in towards Milton Kings and uh, pulled in, took a 45 minute break, had some breakfast, sort myself out with a drink. back in Southampton but um, I suspect that'll be the early hours of the morning Standard 
two more. Back on familiar roads again for a bit. Well, all the way actually. Not entirely sure where they're going to take me off. Now you know this road. Take the exit, A43, Lidworth Bypass. I do it enough times. Right, so um, I'll speak to you later, probably as I come into uh, Banbury or maybe. Come on in, why don't you? Jesus. Follow A43, Lidworth Bypass, towards Banbury for 5.5 miles. So, uh, yeah, maybe, or on the way back out from Banbury. I'll speak to you later. Hello, <clears throat> not a road I go along very often, uh, A422, and towards Banbury now. Came down it the other day. After a quarter of a mile, cross the roundabout and take the first exit, A422. A bit of guesswork there, whether people come around the roundabout or not. Follow A422 for six miles. Wind spins filthy. It's 
windscreen wa washers, whoppers. <laughs> the windscreen whoppers. The windscreen washers sometimes work, sometimes don't, depending on the temperature. But at the moment, it's done. coats on. Need it in this weather. I bet there's a couple of sheep in there that sort of wish that they got well there's deer in that field. I wish that they go cool. I wish I'd had I was first in the queue to get me get me coat cut off. I'd have had three weeks worth more growth. Oh well, for you still you were first in the queue weren't you? Drinking sheep tall like that, oh, like that, like, like comedy gangsters. <laughs> yeah, Bob. Don't know about you, mate, Bob, but I'm fucking freezing. Oh, kiss a goat. Go away, you are, boy. You are, boy, sheep. What? I definitely spent too much time on my own. Tending to be a fucking shit. Oh, what are they doing? What's going on? Oh my word. That doesn't look good, whatever it is. Oh, step out. My god, alive. Oh. There's blue lights coming. Steady on. Just to let them know. Why are they belting up around there? this Get over my son Ooh. what speed was he doing it's 30 mile an hour limit through it the hedge. A road. For those of you aboard, living abroad, this is a, a major road.
Go retarder. Steady. Slowly, slowly catch the monkey. Amongst other scenes. Don't know where that saying come from. You know, all this road here, nice, straightforward, easy road to travel on. And then it goes in that really narrow bit where it's a 10 mile an hour limit and it's like room for one vehicle to get through. making a late charge. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit.
it's this lane. Well, I'm not at all, but I'm totally guessing. Uh, maybe the middle lane. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A422, towards Banbury. Yeah, let's do that. Because it's not on the motorway, and it's the second exit, so uh, you stay here, nobody can get by me on the left. Uh -oh, here we go. Chicken man to my right, give him a bit of room. We can come across, no one there. There's the chicken man. Take the exit, A422. Is that level with me? Oh, he's not playing chicken, is he? There's no chickens on board. He's going for it. Signaling him, but not going off. Hold on. So we're going off here. Again, follow that truck. After 600 feet, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A422, Hennock Way. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Silly. been down here before.
Get that on my mind. After 900 feet, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. If you're away, then you have reached your destination. It is on your right. I believe it is as well. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Then you have reached your destination. It is on your right. Okay, so it's just down here. So I shall speak to you. Later on. I'm not going to Amazon. I know that. Right, speak to you later. Hello! Ah, for Quittery at its finest. Uh, time now is 16.29. Uh, I got in there. Nice and early. Yeah, come on in. We'll load you. Onto the bay. I had to wait half an hour before I could get on the bay because there's already someone there. As soon as he's off, mate, straight on, we'll get we'll crack on and get you loaded. We'll be done in half an hour. Brilliant. Going around the I thought. And take the fourth exit, A43. Onto the bay. Bloke comes out. Bit of a problem, mate. So, what's that then? He says we're going to reject the container. He said, reject it before then. And he said, um, the floor's a bit dirty. I said, uh, okay, yeah. I said, but it's going on pallets, isn't it? Is it pallets? It's palletised, isn't it? So he says, yeah, no, that's not. But he said, it's dirty, but it's not really the problem. I said, so what really is the problem then? He said, condensation. Condensation on the roof of the container. Too much water in there. Condensation on the roof. I said, it's mine, it's for me. It's bound to have condensation on a metal roof. Yeah, but we can't, we can't accept it. Okay. Um, I'll go and park over there then, shall I? Yeah. <laughs> I've got to make some phone calls. So I've got his details, because he's rejected it. And then, um, three and... Th three and three quarter hours later, <laughs> three and three quarter hours from start to finish so that probably took about 40 minutes to sort that I was in there 40 minutes before they said that so call it 45 so it took three hours for them to make a decision as to what to do with the box and funnily enough and take the fourth exit a 43 if the box was loaded I was supposed to go back to where I picked the box up from this morning drop it there and then pick up my original box which is now empty which I left there pick that back up and take it to Southampton so that was the original plan so we're reverting back to the original plan but it took them three hours to decide that between themselves and the shippers and whoever else gets involved so they said I'll oh, just go over to uh, go over to Sandy and um, pick out the box I said uh, with what time I'm out of time mate I'll get over there and it was going to take me an hour and three quarters to get over there it wasn't due to get there until six it's up past four now it's not that far it's just roads are terrible I had to get onto the M1 it was just just nightmare it wasn't going to work and then I'd have to find somewhere to park within about 15 minutes and there just isn't so I had it planned out in my head what I was going to do I was going to go to the red line park up and go in in the morning and then they couldn't decide whether the place was open 24 hours or not found out, since found out that that's a track that I can gain access to it with an access code, so they're supposed to be sending that across. Um, so, 
instead of going to the red line, because that's going north and out of my way, I've sort of double backed on myself. So it's more or less on the, you know, it's only, instead of going sort of 20 plus miles out of my way, 25 miles out of the way, I'm just going six miles out of my way. Well, less than that. Yeah, probably about that. So it's a, a lot quicker, plus I get finished quicker. I'm going to Chilwell Valley and parking up, because I'm empty. You know? And, uh, I've only got a couple of miles to go. Uh, so, tomorrow, I'm going up to Sandy, swap trailers, back down to Southampton, into my favourite container yard to get the box off, that'll be fun. Then round to my second con favourite container yard to get a box on. So I'd get a box off and then to get a box on. And I'm going out to Gloucester to load to bring back to Southampton. Now, the only problem is, as I told them I'd be off on Friday, but they hadn't made an out of it. So I said, oh, I might be struggling, but that time was. Ah, uh, well, so I've done them a deal. I might be able to make it back, or I might be able to make some of the way back. We just have to see. Well, I can pinch a bit of time, so um, I'm pinching a bit tonight. So uh, yeah, fuck where we it's fine, it's but you, you know, it's just that's how it goes. And I'm gonna make a few more shekels out of it because I've pinned them down. Take the fourth exit, A forty three. So I've taken it as an unpaid day off on Friday. But for any hours that I work I'm on uh, night out, early start payment, and an overtime rate, which is a Sunday rate, which is a good hourly rate. So, um, I suspect by the time I've finished, they'd have been better off paying me for the day. <laughs> no, I'll be a bit under. So we're going back here to the services now. And uh, gonna park up, see if I can find a spot. I say it's 20 to five and I'm going into, I haven't stayed in here in months now. I remember the last time I stayed in here. But I'm staying in here tonight because I'm empty. So I could have gone to the red line, but that's, a, that's an hour, that's 45 minutes. And I'm just going to go back out of here tomorrow and then go up down a down through Milton, cut through Milton Keynes. So I'm going to be right. cutting a big chunk of right. mileage out as well. So uh, better to do this. Then I'll stand a better chance of maybe getting home tomorrow night. If I'm not, it's not the end of the world. I've got the doctors that. Keep right, then. Tennis. Turn. Sat nervous directing me to the red line still. I'm getting mighty confused.
see what they've got in here. Trust my luck, I'll be next to a fridge. Plenty of spaces around there, so um, we might be, it might be, uh, it's, it's fairly early still. side there. Oh, perfect. This is what we like. This is what we like. So, the loose plan now is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, mm. put my card in at 2, I might get up at 2, leave here at half past 2, over to there for, how far is it, let's have a look. So from here to where I've got to be, it's 53 miles. So we're looking at about an hour, hour and a half. So I'll be over there. If I leave here at uh, half two, you will arrive at your four, destination at half two, half three, four. Four o'clock, five, six, seven, eight. Ah. <laughs> I don't know, but we're going to leave, be leaving here at early o'clock anyway, and um, about half past two, I suspect. And uh, we'll uh, we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, right. I'll speak to you all in the early hours, no doubt. I'll speak to you later. Minus one, still in my shorts. <laughs>